Greetings, salutations, it's me, James, your BA Sensei, back with another Power Query tutorial. In today's video, we are going to be summing the last three months of specific data sets. So, the data set we're going to be looking at is we got stock codes, and we're going to take the last three months of a data set, and we're going to sum it. Sounds simple enough, but we're going to select file. So, let's say, for instance, we got a file, a CSV file, and the last three months is March to May. Oh, easy enough. It should only give me March to May. But if we select another file, let's say this one, then the last one should be the last three months. So we're going to make it very dynamic to give us a result like this. Enough talking. Let me show you how to do it. All right, as always, we go to data. And in this case, we're going to get data from a file. We're going to select the CSV file. You select your CSV file. Let's say that one. And we say import. Well, now this gives you a little preview. We're just going to say transform the data. And this open power query for us. OK, so first thing, let's just quickly rename that thing. Let's call it stock last three months. Let's take the change type out over there. That's what we have in here. So you can see we're basically pulling the data there. Let's quickly promote the headers. We say. Promote the headers. There we go. March, April, May. But let's say, for instance, I go in there and I select the other data set. Uh, the extended one, which goes up to November. Select that. You can see it's kind of capping it at six, which is a problem. The thing that you need to first fix is when working with CSV, you see this thing called column six. That limits us to six columns. So just delete that and say OK. And now you can see it actually has more columns. So now if I select, let's go back to selecting my normal range there. Say so, OK. That will actually just give me my six columns. Great. So there we go. We can remove that change type over there. All right. So now the thing is we need to dynamically take the last three months. So we're going to add a new step over there. We're going to use a function called table column names. Yes. And it's going to give it this. And this is going to give me a list of all the column names. Right. You can see this is a list. So because we want the last three months, we can use a list function. I can use the list function list last n, which simply gives me the last n number of items in a list. And this is a list. So that's the input there. I want to return the last three items in that list. And there we go. March, April, May. Just press F2 on the step name. Let's call this the column names. OK, so let's go to back to this one. So what I want to do now is I want to basically take my data set, right? And I want to select only stock code in the last three months. So we're going to go back to column names and I'm simply going to say table select columns. Yes. And I'm going to refer to that promoted header step over there. Starting with Ash, there's the promoted headers. And I'm going to say, give me the, in curly brackets, give me the stock code and the last three columns. And that simply gives you the stock code. You can see there's the stock code and the last three columns, column names. So now if we go back and let's say we select the bigger data set, the extended one, we say, OK, come back to column names. You can see September, October, November. So now I simply want to add a total column at the end. But before I can do that, you see the data tapes, tapes are ABC, ABC. That's character. It's string. It's very varchar. I want to convert this to currency. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say add step. Let's say table transform columns. I'm going to say give me this table as an input. I want to take the stock out. I'm going to start off with curly brackets, the stock. Now I want to set that to text from that's going to be text. But all of the rest of the columns I want to set as currency from close it out say OK. And that now changed all of the other columns except for the stock code to currency. I can just press F2 there and rename that to types. All right. So the next step is quite simple. I'm just going to add a new column, say add a new column. And we're going to call this column total. And we're going to use a little trick here. We're going to use the underscore and that's going to return a record. See what this does. It returns for every single row a record of all the fields in that row, which is quite handy. What I want to do is I want to exclude the stock code there. So I'm just going to say I'm going to use a record function there. Say record remove, remove fields. And from this record, I want to remove the stock code. So now if we look at the record, there's no stock code in there. Cool. 
But now, if you think about a list, a list can be used to sum everything in it, but I need to convert this record into a list. So I can say, take this record, say record to list, and wrap that in, and now this record will become a list. You can see, there we go, there's the list of all the amounts, the last three amounts. Cool. And now, all I need to do is, now that it's a list, I need to say list sum, and simply take the sum and there you go there's your total the last thing we need to do is you can see that type of set is alphanumeric I don't want that I don't want to add a step for that so at the last curly br the last bracket over there I'm just gonna add there currency type and end it up and that converts it to currency so now if we change this to let's say we change this to the normal one non-extended one you can see the last month there is May and the last one there is May Excellent, and we return this to Excel, and there you go. There. Isn't that cool? I hope this video opened your mind on how you can use the power of lists, the power of records, and understanding a little bit how CSVs work. And you can obviously also apply this to, to workbook ranges, to tables. You can apply it to Excel workbooks. Same logic applies to all of those types. BA Sensei, signing out.